Hi everyone, welcome back to Ever Plan With Me. This week I'm going all out Christmas again, however I decided I'm going to keep it traditional. Um, so I'm doing three weeks of Christmas spreads, which is really exciting. In hindsight, I kind of wish I did four weeks, but I am happy that the first week of January is summery because that's the start of our summer here in Australia. So I'm just using some washi tape. Um, the first is a set that I got from Kmart. Actually, the set was from my aunt. Very, very generous. Thank you very much to her. Um, so I'm just using one of the red snowflake washi tape for that. And I'm also using a, it's a glitter tape um, that my cousin got from Canada actually. And it's little Christmas trees. And I thought it looked so nice because obviously it's not exactly like washi tape, but it's um, still sticky and I think looks really pretty. So I was really happy with that. And I really like how the colors turned out. Um, and I'm also using um, a thin gold washi tape for the weekend, but I don't know when I do that, obviously later on. <laughs> this is my new um, sticker setup. I can't remember if I put it in last week's one or not. Oh man, all the weeks are like so crazily close together now that I can't remember what I'm doing, but um, I put, I'm using a new sticker, sticker setup which is inspired by Living the Wife Life. If you want to check her out on YouTube, I'll put her uh, link below. I absolutely love her plan with me. So she's got hers in a big A4 folder and it's on cardboard paper which is um, I'm sure much easier to use. But I just found this little uh, little book from Kino Cornea, uh, little, I don't know what you'd call it, kind of like a binder. And you can get inserts for it as well. So obviously I'll go back and get some more inserts. But I just wanted a little one so I could take it away. Um, but anyway, back to the spread. I decided to be a little bit more creative this week and use some more washi tape on for the weekend to stick my weekend banner on just to put a little bit more colour into it. Um, and that um, washi tape is from Kmart as well. came in a set of four. The little weekend banner, oh, the, the weekend banner is from Rory's Sweet Addictions. And the mini banner that I've got on the Saturday is from Miller Print Shop. I am a big fan of Scallop Jeb Circles, so that big one there is from One Orange Snowflake. We're going to the Sound of Music tonight on the, at, at the theatre, and I am so dang excited. Sound of Music is my favourite, so I'm really looking forward to that. The, heart, the full box up the top left is from That Planner Girl and I've used that with a washi strip from That Planner Girl as well to match and a to-do sticker from Rose with Addictions as well as a sculpted circle to put the wig down. These stickers are from Cinnamon Designs. She, Cindy kindly sent me a little pack of her stickers to test out um, and I am loving them. They're very um, functional and I'm sure I'll be using them many spreads to come. So thank you very much Cindy for those. I'm just using the Bill Juice stickers for some things that we've got this week. Using a half box from that Play Girl for um, a little thing that we've got on Friday night. I just thought I would say, because I um, have looked at a couple of posts this week on um, a couple of planning forums, and there were some suggestions about um, how people plan and what they do. Um, so I thought I would actually go into more how I plan this week rather than just sort of naming out sticker um, sticker shops. Well, that's good. I'll always list them below so you can always find them below. But usually, generally what I do is look in my little diary that I've got with me that I take everywhere and I will set that out and note down what um, I've got planned for that week if I've got anything in there. And then I will go in and I will add things that I know of or emails that I've got which tell me when bills are due. Um, and then I'll go in and I'll start using a few more decorative stickers for, you know, when I go get my chai latte every week or um, when I'm going to go to the gym or do a harbour run. So usually it goes functionality first and then decorative later. But most of the time I put in the big events first, like things that we've had planned for a week or so or longer. Um, and then I do all of our bills and appointments and that kind of thing. And then I finish off with um, my decorative stickers. So on the Saturday I just put down a little knife and fork 
Icon sticker, that's from that planner girl. And now I'm just putting down the countdown to Christmas stickers. I love these, I think they're beautiful. And I've loved having a countdown for Christmas because you know, when you get older it's kind of a little bit not as fun as it was when you were a child. So I've been really enjoying having something in my planner. I'm just using a customised Erin Condren sticker that says appointment for my eyebrows. I put on the wrong day so that will change later on. I am a big fan of the customised stickers I have to say so I'm looking forward to repurchase them probably sometime in the new year. Boutique stickers and I'm using my blue Muji pen to put in the temperatures. A lot of people have asked me where to buy Muji pens. You can buy them on eBay, that's where I got mine from before I realised that there was a shop in Sydney. The shop is located in the Victoria Galleries in Sydney CBD which is pretty much directly above Town Hall Station. The pens I think are about $2 each, $2.50 maybe, but you can get them in a set which is good, it comes in a whole range of colours and the width of the ballpoint is 0 0.5 um, however you can get smaller or larger if you buy the pens individually I have provided, um, like I bought a couple from my aunt and my cousins um, and I've recommended a few people go there and I haven't heard any bad um, or negative reviews about them so far so if you're looking for some pens and I think they're sort of more affordable than some of the others then I would definitely recommend that you try them out and they come in such a wide range of colours and I reckon the Japanese know how to do their stationery so yeah definitely it's worthwhile investing in some good pens I reckon. I'm just writing down my master to-do list for the week. I still really haven't decided what I want to do with this section on the left. However, like, I, I do love having a master to-do list on the left. I think it's a good way to plan, to sort of look at things you need to do for the week as a sort of, um, you know, if you don't get something done on a Monday, at least you know that you've got something that you need to get done for the rest of the week. Or even when I plan for the next week, I look back and if I haven't done anything, I will um, transfer it over so I think it's really good for that purpose but I haven't really seen too many other people that use it any, in a different way um, so if you use it in an entirely different way please let me know in the comments below or send me a picture on Instagram or anything like that I would love to see how you guys plan. Stickers that I'm just pulling out here are from Cinnamon Designs this is from Cindy's Adam colour scheme. I really like the tones and I love grey so I am really excited to use all those colours. I'm just pairing that up with a Pips Palette YouTube sticker. I do like to layer, um, I have to say, so I, I like them for that purpose and I think they're really functional. And you can't go wrong with hexagon, so <laughs> I reckon that's definitely a good thing.
not much else uh, now for my spread I am just put, gonna put down a few more decorative stickers a few summer ones a few Christmas ones I am really loving getting into the Christmas spirit um, and while I'm on that thank you so much for watching this year I have so enjoyed doing these planning videos and I absolutely love the planning community as lame as that sounds there are some amazing people out there and I've really enjoyed getting to know some of you on the Facebook groups and through YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. Uh, I am planning on doing a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers, so it's a little way off yet, but definitely keep tuned for that. I've been collecting some really nice things for it, uh, for the giveaway. So stay tuned. I will definitely do something on my YouTube to announce that as well as my Instagram. My Instagram is eeplants, so you can find me there. The handle is at the end if you just want to check out this. But thank you so much for watching this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Merry Christmas. Bye.